and this sticking legs drill in this section, this phase, we're going to have free attacks and free defenses. So uh, one partner will attack in this section, in this part, it's going to be the sea hang or the sea food. So I'll do the attacking. I can do any attack. So I'll teach you the first part of view G form now. We'll start with our feet together, just like we did before. Raise our hands, two fists, sink our weight, just like before. But this time we're going to do something a little different. Because we already, this is incorrect. When we hit with this, we want to make sure we move this pointy part of the elbow hook. So we hit with that part. So when you play this PUG, when you play this elbow, make sure it comes down. Elbow first. The other thing. So we're going to remove some more rules again. Practice that you'll need some specifically developed muscles to make that happen. It's very valuable, brings a lot of power into your technique once you've got it. For today's homework, I'd like you to read from volume one, page next part of the BUG form. Stems again from timing. After this, when we perform this piece here, I want good timing. So we don't want this kind of thing. Because I can step into your boundary. But you can't step into mine. If you step in, because of where our heels are, if you step in, you step in over here. But if I step in, put your foot back where it was. If I step in, I go in. So anywhere from, I guess, right about here, all the way up to here, in, anywhere in this area here, from the side, you see, anywhere in, in kind of here. You can use the ganda. You can do both. The mansal is used for that situation where you don't know what they're going to do. And we want to just throw something up on center. 